YouTube family, what's good with y'all, man? My name is Kieran Davis, founder owner of Contagious Co. Where we're focused on making self-love contagious from mental health awareness to suicide prevention. Now, a lot of people have been asking me and also seeing a lot of people struggling lately with just how to sell in person, how to go to a pop-up, have a successful pop-up, and how to be able to capitalize on these opportunities to really make the most money for your brand, right? Guys, a big reason why I'm making this type of content is because I, I, I love seeing people win and I want to see more people win with your dreams, man. A, I, a lot of you guys are super, super talented, super, super smart. But just like me in the beginning, was trapped in a certain mindset and just need some help with just growing, right? There's so much more content on here and I just want to chime, you know, join in the conversation and add value as well. So we're going to go over how to really get sales in person how to sell in person, right? And we're gonna work on your sales pitch, okay? So guys, I'm also not saying I have the most amazing sales pitch in the world, but I had multiple people literally start crying for me delivering my sales pitch to them. Now, I'm not saying it's because of my pitch, right? It's just because of just a couple things that I'm gonna go over in this video to really help y'all turn up. I do these pop-up shops and do these events and things like that, right? So the first thing is understand that there is a psychology to selling. There is a psychology behind customers buying, right? And once you understand this, you can craft the best sales pitch to be able to hit certain points that are going to get you more sales. A lot of you guys aren't getting sales because you don't have an actual sales pitch. So if you had to, somebody join your team, they wouldn't know what the sales pitch is because because you don't even have it written down you need to write it down and take it and you know it by memory you need to make sure that you master the delivery of your sales pitch and just like i tell people if i'm if i'm training somebody on on, on selling right i tell them if, if you were singing a little wayne song or a little baby song probably nowadays right you're not going to sing it the way like you know uh you ain't gonna sing it just any kind of way. No, you're gonna try to sound exactly like Lil Baby. You're gonna sing it exactly the way that Lil Baby would have performed it in the song. So how come when you're trying to do your sales pitch that you're not performing it? You need to perform it as if you you want you recording a hit record. You need to perform it as if it is being recorded and you're trying to take over the world with this song, with this track, whatever. But only difference is is that you are performing a sales pitch, right? So you need to have that in your mind, right? You should not be performing a rapper song, singing it in a car better than you're performing your sales pitch. If you can sing your favorite song, then you can deliver your sales pitch. Understand that, right? Now, in when we're, when we're getting into selling, right? I want you to understand a couple things. And I, I have like a sales flow chart that I show people when I'm training them. First thing you want to understand is who, right? And before we dive into this, understand that your sales pitch needs to be 30 to six, like 30, 60, 30 to 60 seconds. And uh, in the, the the interaction itself, probably at most two minutes, bro. So, I mean, you need to run through this, right? And I don't know how long you guys can time this. So you need to tell them who, who first, right? I always will introduce myself. You know what I mean? Hey, my name is Kieran. Then my brand is called Contagious. It's about making self-love contagious, right? That's who. That's who we are, who I am, right? And whoever is the person that's whoever is the person selling and speaking, introduce yourself because people buy from who they know. You introduce yourself, now they know you. Simple, right? Tell them who the brand is. Who? That's who, right? No, this in school. Who, what, when, where, why, right? But we're not gonna cover all those it's certain ones that's gonna be, that's gonna pertain to this sales pitch, right? So who? Know your who, and, and and so I'm not just gonna say this. My brand's called Contagious. Now nah, I'm telling this. My brand's called Contagious. It's about making self love contagious, right? Boom. Now I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why we exist. Why this matters to you. Why you should be interested, right? Why, uh, you know, I'm going to in short form tell them why, right? So we told them who. I'm gonna say why, right? I'm going to say, you know, uh, we're, we're looking to build awareness for mental health, suicide prevention, right? That's the why. For mental health awareness, suicide prevention. 
That's the why. You might have your why. If you don't, you need to work on your why because we're selling off of a why. We're not selling off of a product. We don't sell products. We sell intangible goods. You know, I'm selling self-love. I'm making self-love contagious, right? So that's my why. Now, some people might stop there. Me, I like to reinforce the why. Somebody, I might be talking to three people selling to a group. Somebody might already hear that and click with them like, oh, I like this. The other two people, they might not struggle with mental health, never felt depressed, never felt suicidal, and probably didn't even know that their friend could even relate to this. So to them, it don't click. So I'm going to reinforce the why. So I'm going to add in right now, suicide is the 10th leading cause of death for Americans, fifth for minorities, right? So, so far, I told them who? Contagious makes self-love contagious. Why? For mental health awareness, suicide prevention. Reinforce the why. Right now, suicide is the 10th leading cause of death for Americans, fifth for minorities, right? So now I told them who we are and why we exist. And now I don't want to just leave them with a problem because now I told them who we are, I told them why we exist, and then I reinforced the why by giving them some data. And now I need to let them know how we help with this problem. Entrepreneurs solve problems for profit. How are we helping with this problem and why should they support us, right? Why should they support us? So let them know. Every month we donate to a new organization to help with mental health research. And we also host a self-love club, which is a support group for those struggling. We get snacks from refreshments. This is create a safe place they can vent. You feel me? So I told you who, why, reinforce the why, and how we help, right? Now you just hit them with a lot. You need to give them a second. They're just taking in new information. Best thing to do right now is to ask them. And in, in the beginning, you want to introduce yourself. So I'm going to double back around after. But I also want to make sure this is cohesive right here. You want to ask them. And I'll say, say their name. Yeah, Jeremy, what do you think about the brand, brother? You feel me? Or whatever the case may be, right? You ask them. You want to open up the floor because you've been doing the speaking right now. You've been running the show. But right now, it's important for them to chime in. So you open up the floor to them and ask them, what do you think? What do you think? Right? Nine times out of ten, I love it, man. That sounds dope. I ain't going to lie. I really like this design. You feel me? Boo, boo. Now, you open up the floor and you gain some clarity, right? They affirmed everything you just presented. And this is where you're going to close the cell. You're going to ask them, yes, best part, though. Everything super, super affordable. Let them know your prices. Even if it's high, even if your price is, you can sell $6 t shirt or something like that. I still be like, best part, everything's super, super affordable for this quality. Like, bro, you got to sell it, right? And I, and I let them know whatever the price is, whatever the deal is. And I would say, how would you, then, then you to close, right? So that's the hook. You're reeling them in. But just let them know what the prices is. And that, that's the, like, if you like the message and you like what I just said, the best part is you can have all of that, but just this affordable price, right? And then I ask them, how would you like to support our mission? Not, how would you like to buy a shirt? No, how would you like to support our mission and grab some, and grab, uh, you know, a shirt today or purchase a hoodie, all right? How would you like to support our mission and grab you something today? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What size do you prefer? I don't ask what size do you wear because sometimes people are very, 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 uh, you know, just because I have a mental health brand. So I try to be con- like conscious of this. Some people are, um, you know, insecure about weight and things like that. Right. So I say, what size do you prefer? So it almost seems like, oh, that, that ain't the size you wear, but that's just the size you prefer. Right. Let's take this back for a second. Right. So you might be asking, OK, how do I even get people to stop at a pop up? Some of y'all sitting down behind y'all booth and you don't want to do that. Success don't happen for you. It happens because of you. People aren't just going to come to you and buy. They want you to engage them. They want you to, you know, start the interaction with them. You understand? I don't sit down at pop-up shops. I don't sit down at booths. I'm standing up in front of my booth. Because I'm trying to grab everybody's attention who even comes close enough to hear my voice. And not step on anybody else's toes who's around, set up next to me. But when they in the vicinity, in my range, sniping, right? 
So I'm like, yes, sir. What's going on, brother? Yes, ma'am. Excuse me. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Um, you know, whatever you can do to get their attention, right? I try not to even ask them. I try not to say, uh, because you don't want to be like, come check out my products. Nah, man, we don't. Everybody got products. Why do they care about your product? You want to ask them if you can tell them about your brand, but we don't ask you, right? I'd be like, so say it's, say it's like, a, uh, this would be my favorite because you got to know who you are and know how you come off to people and know how you can interact and connect with people, right? You got to talk people language, especially if you're selling. So I'm going to switch up my, my opening depending on who the person is. And you kind of have to read them. You kind of have to like, you know, I'm not saying like harshly judge them, but you kind of have to put them in some sort of box to know how to approach them in a way that they're not offended or they're not uncomfortable or anything like that. You feel me? So say I see sometimes I see somebody like I can tell like you know it, it look like a hood nigga you mean? so like I'm I'm a, I'm gonna be like hey say boss look I know you on the move really fast man I can tell you about my clothes like you know but and sometimes I catch myself doing that too but in this interaction I can kind of be like that because I'm like all right I got you I got you because they just see you hustling and they just respect the hustle period but like you know say it's like a um, middle aged white white mom with you know her younger daughters maybe they like 19, 20, right. I'd be like, hey, excuse me, ladies. Um, I know y'all on the move. 30 seconds. Just You don't even got to buy. Can I just tell you about my clothing brand really fast? You know, something like that, right? Something like that. But now if we're in a pop-up type, it's a little different environment. They come in here to support small local businesses or whatever the case may be. So you can kind of, hey, I'm sorry, um, you know, really fast. Can I tell you about my brand? You know, but like I said, the best part, you want to try to do it. Now, I'm just throwing out random stuff. So this is the first thing coming to mind. But in the best part, uh, you really want to try to ask it without, um, without asking it, right? So what I found that works best for me, and, and like I said, again, it's all about the energy. It's all about the tone, right? Is for me saying really fast, let me tell you about my clothing brand. You know, it, there's, it's not, it's a question, but it's more of like a command statement, you know? If I say really fast, can I tell you about my, you know, if I say really fast, let me tell you about my clothing brand. That's usually the best grabber, right? But again, you're going to have to finesse that to whoever the person you're speaking with. So I'm going to be like, hey, say boss, I know you're on the move, man, really fast, bro. Let me tell you about my brand. You feel me? Hey, ladies, how you doing? Uh, I know y'all on the move. I ain't trying to take up too much of your time. You only ain't got to buy, but let me tell you about my brand, right? You got to hit them like that. So understand this. If you get them over, everybody not gonna stop. That's just how it is. So what? If you get them over and you got a good sales pitch, seven out of ten, eight out of ten, nine out of ten, you should be closing the sale every single time. Unless it's something that they don't like, like maybe you don't got the color, or maybe you're out of their size, or maybe you're out of their size in a specific color, right? But you want to close the sale. So you need to know what your bottom like dollar is like, OK, how low can I go with this item to get acquire this person as a customer and get their data? So if you got a shirt, say you got your shirt made for seven dollars. Right. And you sell enough for twenty five. You tell them it's twenty five. They say, oh, you know, well, we're going to go around and check out some other people and come back. I understand you know, that how I go. <laughs> I understand. I completely understand. You know, more than anything, I appreciate you for stopping. But how about I make it easier for you? I just do this one for you for just twenty dollars to gain your support. I even do two for thirty. Now you gave them an offer. That's a little harder to refuse because they can go around and around and around and around, but they might not get no offer like that. They like the brand. They said they like the brand. When you asked them, what do you think? They said they like it. So now you need to close it. And if they don't take the first offer. Give them another offer. How low are you willing to go to acquire this customer? That's what you got to ask yourself, and you got to know that off rip. So they, so because you ain't gonna be, you ain't gonna be on some like, and if and if you there, you notice I usually I I, I put I lower the prices at pop ups anyway. I'm trying to sell as much as possible. So if the item was so is actually thirty, I'm automatically go twenty five twenty right. If the lowest I'm going is 15, then maybe I start at 20 anyway, just so I can move volume, flood it. Because I know, hey, 20 hit. At 20, it's 9 out of 10 times. If I tell them about it, they buy. At 30, maybe it's 7 out of 10 times, they buy. 
it's all completely up to you. But make sure that you keep in note of what's hitting and what's missing. Because if you're not paying attention to certain things like this, you can miss a lot of sales. So if you go to a new place, you might not have been here. Maybe it's in like, you know, the hood type, you know, they ain't really ain't trying to spend that much money and they don't know you. They came for this person to support is this person a cousin. They got the booth over there. But you like, man, I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying to get you to buy my brand, too. So you might automatically just say 20, even though you sell it for 30 online, 20 today. You feel me? And low, you won't go 15 just to acquire that customer. I do that all the time, but I sell a shit for $10 to acquire somebody, you feel me? Because I know what I got it for, I'm still making profit, you know? So, listen, energy. You got to have energy when you're selling. If you hear yourself doing your sales pitch and you wouldn't buy from you, why would anybody else? Work on your sales pitch. Work on charisma. Work on your energy when you're speaking to people and you're making this interaction. Second, second tidbit. Smile. You got to smile. If you are uncomfortable smiling, get in the mirror and start smiling. You got to smile. People don't want to buy from you. They seem like you ain't even happy to be selling your own product. They're not going to buy from you. So you need to smile. Energy. Smile. Second thing, you got to make eye contact with these people. A lot of these people, you sell them to a person, they don't know you. Eye contact is going to gain trust. Nine times out of ten, they probably think that you just hustling or you just scamming or whatever the case may be. They ain't going to trust you. They don't, people are automatically built to like not buy from people on the streets, not buy from people that they don't know. So you need to make eye contact so that they can get, build some sort of trust in you, you know? And that's why I say introduce yourself. Ask them their name. Use their name in the spiel. When you say, okay, Darius, what you think about the brand? You feel me? They're going to be like, dang, he remember my name already. Dang, I kind of forgot his name. Dang, I kind of feel like I got to get a shirt. Like, you feel me? Like, I'm telling you just different things like that. So introduce yourself. Shake that hand before you do your pitch. You feel me? And um, another thing, too, try to get, you want to get the three three yeses. It's a psychological hack, man. If you get somebody to say yeah one time, and you're going to say yeah again, and then the third yeah is the one you really want, nine times ten, they're going to say yeah again because they've been saying yeah the whole time. So they already been affirming a positive experience with you in their mind. They keep saying yeah and yeah. And then now it's like, you ready to buy? Okay, yeah, let's do it. You feel me? So understand the first yes is when they even come over to you. You understand? You know, when you say, oh, really fast, let me tell you about my brand. When they, when they come over to talk to you, they already say yes because they accepted this interaction. You know, they're comfortable with you. You know what I mean? The next yes is when you ask them, is when you, you, like when you say, what do you think about my brand? Any positive thing they say is another yes. They just gave you another approval, another positive reaction towards what you're trying to do. So you already got two yeses, and that's why you want to close after opening the floor to them. You want to ask them, you know, you know, uh, that's great, best part, boom, 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 this the price, you know what I mean, amazing quality. You know, how would you like to support our mission and grab you something today? And they're going to be like, yeah, let's do it. And that's it, man. And if you literally write down your pitch and go off that who, why, you can reinforce the why I like to. Then tell them how you're helping, right? How you're solving that, right? And these are some things that you might not even know within your brand. And that's something that you really got to start like thinking about too. But then open the flow to them and then close it, right? So let's start from the top. You're going to gain their attention, right? By appealing to them. Yo, bro. Hey, ma'am. How you doing? Excuse me, family. What's going on with y'all? Appeal to them. Right? Then, you want, when they come over, you know, really fast. Don't ask. Don't ask. Almost make it a command. Really fast. Let me tell you about my clothing brand. And I'm pointing to it. You got to have swagger charisma. You got to seem like you belong on the sales stage, on the sales floor. You got to look like you belong. Let me tell you about my brand. Boom. Right? What's your name? Nice to meet you. Fist bumps, handshakes, whatever. What's your name? Nice to meet you. My name, you feel me? And then who? Why? Reinforce the why. How are we helping? What do you think? What do you think, Sarah? Right? Best part, though, Sarah? Everything's super, super affordable. Church says $20. Or you can get two for 30 if you're interested in supporting our mission. Grabbing you something today? Sarah gonna buy. Sarah gonna leave with two shirts. So, 
Guys, I have an in-depth breakdown of this in the description when you go to the gum row, check that out. And we got a lot of stuff on there. But it's stuff like this that's gonna help you not miss your shots at these pop-ups when you're selling. I can go more in depth in this. I don't want to make this too long. And I feel like this is a lot of free information, a lot of free game that's going to help a lot of you guys turn up. So you're welcome.